News organizations, including NBC News and MSNBC, are waiting to see if House Speaker Kevin McCarthy will grant their requests for access to 44,000 hours of Capitol security footage from the January 6th insurrection. This is the same footage McCarthy already exclusively shared with Fox News's Tucker Carlson, a conspiracy theorist who has repeatedly downplayed and denied the truth about January 6th. According to Axios, Carlson's TV producers were on Capitol Hill last week to begin reviewing the footage, which includes multiple camera angles from all over Capitol grounds. Carlson has yet to air the footage, but he's already teasing what he claims his producers have found. Our producers, some of our smartest producers, have been there uh, looking at this stuff and trying to figure out what it means and how it contradicts or not the story that we've been told for more than two years. We think already that in some ways it does contradict that story. Joining me now is Congressman Steve Cohen, a member of the House Judiciary Committee and the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Congressman, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. You were in the House gallery for the certification of the 2020 presidential election when the mob breached the building. How do you feel now knowing that the Speaker of the House has given that 44,000 hours of security footage to Tucker Carlson, a man who knows that Trump lied about losing the election but still promotes that lie to his viewers even to this day? Well, two things mean a great deal to me in my life, two most important things. One is politics and people thinking like John Kennedy who inspired me that politics can be an honorable profession. And secondly, being a member of the United States Congress, which I think is the highest honor of my life. And that's after 24 years in the state Senate and I worked my way up. Uh, Tucker Carlson does not believe in the truth. Uh, the whole idea of government should be that you treat everybody equally. Our ethics laws, as I understand them, say that each congressperson, we can't do anything for one constituent we wouldn't do for another. So if you start opening something up, it goes to everybody. It's simple due process and fairness. It's what America's about. There's no way that an exclusive should be given to Tucker Carlson. If you want to give up the tapes to everybody, that's one thing. But you can't give them to one person, and it's an indictment of, of Speaker McCarthy for having done that or thought he, thinking he can do that. But it's part of what you had on your previous episode. It's about the truth. It's about fairness. It's about the American way. We don't see that anymore. What we see is lies that started with Donald Trump, lies that uh, George Santos has taken, that others have taken the Republican side, and they just get away with it. And it's wrong, and the American public should and will deserve better. You know, Congressman, is there a concern on your part, seeing how you are currently seated in Congress, that this is a part of one of those backroom deals that Kevin McCarthy reached in order to get the speakership? Well, I'd say it's a bathroom deal. Uh, it stinks to high heaven. And you can see it with Santos not being asked to uh, to leave or being uh, having a resolution put forward, which I believe uh, uh, Mr. Garcia from California, a freshman, has put forward, along with uh, Mr. Goldman, I think, and Mr. Torres from New York. Uh, George Santos is a stain on the United States Congress. McCarthy should try to uphold the United States Congress and, and see that its values are are, are cherished and, and, and refined. And he doesn't do that. It's about George, him and his promise to Tucker Carlson and his political agenda. Nancy Pelosi would not have done this anyway whatsoever, nor would anybody. I don't think, you know, Denny Hastert wouldn't have done it. I mean, we're talking a whole new level that has gone down and it's, 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 it's difficult to bear because Congress, like Santos was on your show and he said, oh, if you looked at all 435 congressmen, 100 senators, you'd see things in a different light. What an awful thing to say about Congress. There are some people in Congress that aren't the finest. Ninety percent of them are really pretty good folks. And they're, I, I've traveled with some of them. Republicans got to know them. They're family people, smart. They might have a different constituency and a different philosophy, but they're decent, honest people. And this is just, uh, you know, the, the Carlson thing of giving somebody all the tapes, the Santos thing of lying and lying and lying and not being expelled, it's all a, a tearing down of our institutions. And that's wrong. It's something Putin's very much in favor of. And Vladimir Putin is winning this political race.